Released in 1979, the opening scene of The Visitor appropriately begins on another planet. And this planet may very well be where supposedly Italian director Michael J. Paradise is from. It's a film not beholden to logic, which at the very least makes it impossibly unpredictable, and as a result, rarely boring. Paradise attempts to create a film with broad appeal, as the film plays like a greatest hits of sci-fi and horror blockbusters of its era. Capricorns are the worst. I'm a Capricorn. But it ends up alienating the audience, as the pieces don't really fit together to surmise anything resembling a logical plot. This is a very weird movie. Recently reintroduced by Draft House Films, The Visitor was re-released in 2013 and given a new HD transfer. Draft House Films has a penchant for the weird, absurd, and often artful. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately depending on your taste, artful isn't a term most would use to describe this movie. But what it lacks in intelligence, it makes up for in spades by the amount of absurdity it contains. As I mentioned before, the film begins on another planet and we soon see Jesus Christ, played by Franco Nero, delivering a sermon to a group of small, bald-headed children in prototypical 70s future wardrobes. Fittingly, the opening scene and exposition delivered by the former Django star is as confusing as everything else that is to follow. A demonic girl with telekinesis, her mother, played by Joanne Nail of Switchblade Sisters fame, carries the genes of Satin, which I assume is essentially Satan, a secret organization that wants Lance Hendrickson to impregnate Nell's character so she will birth his son and they can harness his powers to rule the world. You and Mama could make love and I would have a baby brother. Aliens. And a couple of Hitchcock inspired scenes with killer birds. You want to kill me? I don't want to kill you, Katie. I want to take you away with me when the time comes. Oscar winning director John Huston plays an exorcist from another planet who arrives in Atlanta, Georgia of all places, to stop a demonic child and the secret organization from taking over the world. After that, it gets even weirder and hard to follow. Although Paradise fails on many levels, he does succeed in understanding how to deliver impactful action scenes that never fail to entertain. At the very least, it's all interesting to watch, and the plot is fascinatingly confusing. Among John Huston, Lance Hendrickson, and Franco Nero, the film also includes a few other amazingly prolific actors, including Sam Peckinpah and Glenn Ford. And as great as many of those actors are, Paige Connor knocks it out of the park playing one hell of a little bitch. A great cast alone can do a lot for a film, but this cast can only carry this movie so far. One quality that many so bad they're good films seem to share is how self-serious they are. And The Visitor takes itself very seriously, which makes it all that more interesting. I can't wholeheartedly recommend it, but if you're a fan of films that make you wonder, how did this ever get made? Then find a way to watch The Visitor, because there's a reason time didn't forget this mess of a film.